I'm here at HPE Discover with Bob Nuller, and Synergy, of course, has been part of the HPE product family for a while now. Sure has. What about Synergy uh, is, is unique for the financial services industry? Uh, very good question, Jake, and thanks for asking. Uh, Jake, uh, here at the show, one of the things we're demonstrating is an S-Flow aggregator capability and monitoring capability. Uh, of course, S-Flow is the standard packet protocol at the layer two level. Uh, what it does is it does some sampled flow monitoring and collection of packets. And then what we do with that is we actually collect that and put that into HP One View at the 4.2 level. That's a release from earlier this year. We put it into some of the One View uh, logical interconnect capability. What that allows us to do is to monitor network capabilities, so usage and data flows, so we can optimize where the bottlenecks are, so we get a, get them out of the flow paths and stuff. This what, is what is specifically important about for the financial services industry about that particular process. Absolutely. So you know, obviously, with financial services, they're using a lot of very heavy numerical data, and uh, the data flow information is very important for them to be able to optimize data flows for that kind of heavy kind of traffic. And so the S-Flow aggregator and monitoring capability to be able to, uh, to optimize the network traffic is very important. Financial services is an example of that. There's other industries, obviously, that use very high amounts of financial and numeric data, too. But that's part of what we're doing here, and we're demonstrating that. One of the interesting things about this, Jake, is uh, this S-Flow aggregator uh, and collection capability, we did this through Bluecrest, uh, third party. and. Uh, you know, it's another example of where we are able to integrate other applications into Synergy. Uh, of course, we do that for a lot of wide variety of third parties, and Bluecrest and the uh, SFLA aggregator capability is just one of those, obviously. But uh, the idea here is, you know, make people effective in their in their use of uh, whatever they're doing for their business, and this is just another example for the more typically used in S in uh, financial services. So that's a, that's a general idea. Of course. Uh, you know, Jake, as you well know, Synergy, we use this in a variety of places, and so people that are doing very heavy numerical workloads and stuff, they're using things like our Synergy 480. It's a, we call it a compute module, it's a blade server. You know, that kind of capability has one or two processors, and you can, with 128 megabit, gigabit DIMMs, you can basically get about three terabytes in that blade server. Yep. But if you need more, and some people do, and the financial service is an example of that, where they run really heavy computational loads and stuff, then they use something like a Synergy 660, where they have two or four processors of the latest Intel variety. They can have up to four and a half terabytes, excuse me, six, five and a, four and a half terabytes of data uh, of memory in there, and with whatever kind of storage and stuff you want. So the nice part about it is, you know, we, could, we can match a variety of workloads to needs. And uh, that's just another example where we expect to get uh, have our customers get their investment out of the Synergy investment they've made. And, and I assume that they can uh, grow with their workload changes if they need to. Absolutely, additions. we'd love to be able to work with them on that. You're, you're asking a very interesting question. That is, of course, financial services. You're worried about ROI and stuff. And uh, one of the things that we've done with the Synergy platform is we have a very stable platform that we intend to do technology refreshes across the whole generation. The best example we can point to is what we did with uh, C-Class blade systems, which will have lasted over 10 years with lots of technology refreshes. And so customers can buy in to pay back their investment and make sure they match their workloads with the latest technology without having to change out everything at the same time. So it's an investment protection scheme so they can get their ROI back. Nice. Thanks, Bob. You're welcome. Thanks, Jake.